Hey everyone, Corey here from the Techies, and today we're going to be talking about the concept of interlacing and resampling in Sony Vegas. These are two really important concepts that, if you don't pay attention to them, can really destroy a really good video. This has to do with the smoothness of the video, the frames per second, and just the overall look of the video. So a lot of times you'll have clips that have different FPS rates, and these are settings that tell Sony Vegas what to do in these kind of situations. A lot of times you'll see people recommend that you always right click on your video, go to switches, and disable resample. Essentially what resampling is, it has to deal with your frame rate of the video clips. If you have sampling enabled, essentially what you're doing is you're telling Vegas that Oh, if, if, it's, if it's 60 FPS, if the clip you've imported is 60 frames per second, but the project is 30 frames per second, you're going to descale that video down to 30 frames per second. You're going to lose frames, and the video is not going to look as good. The same thing happens with clips that are 30 frames per second, and you have to upscale to 60. Things start to look a little bit choppy because essentially what Vegas is doing is adding frames that aren't there so it's just duplicating frames and putting them in the video so basically what you want to do is always go to right click switches and disable resample for this reason the other thing that we are here to talk about is the project settings of your video so if you go to file project properties you have a lot of different options here in terms of resampling and de-interlacing methods so the motion blur type here, we're going to look at these three options, motion blur type, deinterlace method, and resample mode. So the motion blur type deals with fra frame blending, and that has to do with um, if there's a lot of motion in your video, how, how Sony Vegas will deal with blending between frames. And Gaussian is almost always fine, so I, I never choose anything else but Gaussian. The de-interlace method is important here. So you have none, blend fields, and interpolate fields. So something to keep in mind is know what kind of video you have. If you have a video with a lot of motion in it, like these two clips here, this one's from the road trip, and this one's just some random Call of Duty clip I found, there's constant movement. There's nothing standing still. In the case of the clip here, it, it, it constantly, the entire clip is movement. And so you want to make sure you choose interpolate fields. I interpolate fields is an option that handles motion a little bit better than blend fields. Blend fields deals with gener generally video that doesn't have as much motion. Resample mode. So this is the overall settings of your project. And what you always want to choose is either disable resample or smart resample. So Smart Resample will actually look at the clips in your video and determine whether what to do in certain cases. So if, if the media of your clip is the same as the project settings, nothing needs to change. And that's essentially what you want. You want the clips that you import into Sony Vegas to have the same settings as your project settings. So if those settings match, Sony Vegas doesn't have to do anything to resample. It'll just take the frames that are there and render that. But if there's something that's an issue, like you know mismatch of project settings and clip settings, Sony Vegas will uh, resample that video. So essentially, never use force resample. This is where you start losing frames and your video will start lo looking choppy. Smart resample or disable resample are good options to do. So again, the most important concept here is you want to try to have the project settings and your video settings match. If you filmed in 60 FPS, you want to make sure your project settings are in 60 FPS. If you filmed in 30 FPS and you're rendering at 60 FPS, you're going to be adding frames and things are going to start looking weird. The same thing goes for if you recorded in 60 and you render in 30, you're going to start dropping frames and the video is just not going to look as smooth as it could be. So guys, I hope that makes everything clear about the concept of interlacing and resampling. And these are, again, really important concepts that you should pay attention to when you're editing. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Corey from the Techies.